Well, some, for some people, the biggest problem with their wardrobe isn't whether they have enough clothing, but whether they have too much. Enter Finery. The app helps manage the wardrobe virtually and acts as a personal stylist. The company was just listed in CNBC's Upstart 100 list of promising young startups. Joining us now is the CEO, Whitney Casey. All right, so Whitney, lay it out. How does it work? Finery is a digital wardrobe. So what we do is we find all of your purchases from your e-receipts, from your browser history, from attaching your accounts, and then we instantly upload all of those items into a virtual closet so you can see everything you own. So number one, that does not put the onus on the user to go in and take pictures of everything that's in the closet. How do you manage the gaps for people who have acquired their receipts somehow not electronically? We have a bunch of tools on the site that can easily, you Google anything, you find the image, you push the little F browser button, and it uploads to your closet. It sounds great for purchases that I make from this moment on, but how about all the clothes already in my closet? I mean, it feels like it would be a mountain of work to actually try and figure out how to put all that into this sort of database. That's our tech. We go back <laughs> 10 years into your purchase history to find and cull all those receipts and, and put it there into this closet for you. But the bigger picture of this is really about data. And that's the ethos that this company is do built you, off of. How do, you, how do you learn all of the purchases that Melissa made over the I last years? I mean, there are years? a lot. I mean, how do you, is, it, is, it by, is it by credit card receipts yeah. or, or what? E-receipts and your browser history. And okay. we let you also a, 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 take your account and upload your account. So if you have a Neiman Marcus account or you have a Target Norsham account. Norsham account or whatever right. it is. But the, but the data is really important, and, and when we talk about data, we tell women that we really think that your data should be working for you. It should not be working for Facebook. And women consume, they're the consumers. I mean, 85% of the consumer goods are purchased by women. Yet women would tell you, 91% of them say they don't feel like advertisers or anyone really understands So then them. when you have cataloged somehow uh, all of the things that are in the closet, what what happens next? How do I use this tool? What, what, what do I do with it? Well, what's great is we style you. Mm -hmm. So a woman will spend eight years of her life shopping and two, getting dressed. We're mm -hmm. shaving the time off that. So we give you, we give you re return receipts. So think about this. You buy something and you have seven days left till you can no longer return it. You need to know that. So we ping you. Hey, it's raining outside. Here are five things you can wear from your closet. Hey, it's Sunday. You have four interviews this week. Here are five outfits for you from your closet. Well, and how many users do you have right now? Hundreds of thousands. And where do you think you'll go? Well, I, we have a big vision, and it is around data, because we really do feel like women, as I said, need to have their data working for them. And it's very hard, actually, to get data from women, because they don't want the same purple boot following them around the internet like it does for two years that they bought. Mm -hmm. Instead, they really want their data to be working for them, and that's what we're so doing. Do you, so, I mean, are you selling the data then? Do you sell it no. to retailers? No. No. What we want to do is think about it this way. When you log in to a retail site, why does it do you any good to log in with your Facebook account? It only does Facebook good, so they can then advertise to you. What we want to do is create a login from your Finery account so that all of your data can come with you, and then it could make your purchasing way easier. Well, How do you we, make money? We could do a rev share. We, call it, we were calling it a knowledge tax. What, what does that mean? That the, that the companies would pay us to basically make this woman's, to give them a personalization lifeline. Because when you go to these retailers, it's not very easy. You, you sift through all of these so it pages. So theori it's theoretically, I mean, I could be a finery customer and have you track and all this, my wardrobe, but never purchase anything so you don't make a dime off of me. Exactly. But if you think about it, the service, the flywheel of giving this woman some utility and she gives us more access to herself and every time very, the access makes the very utility quickly, better. Will you tell me what in my closet I haven't worn in a year or two years, <laughs> so I should donate it or throw it out? It's crazy because 80% of the clothes you aren't wearing, it's a half a uh, trillion dollars you. just hanging there. I'll guarantee you that's there. true. And if we put some RFID tags in all of your clothes, we, would, we could know exactly where you're wearing them and exactly the amount of time you're wearing them and then break you down costs. You cost. should link up with the consignment site and just automatically transfer that data to the consignment site so it can be sold. Right, so you can just tap on any right. item in your wardrobe and then sell it. It all starts right. in your wardrobe, all right. of these.
all of these functionalities, re-commerce, commerce, rentals, it all has to start with the clothes that you own.